Hey, yo, bud, let me hear it. Nice to meet you, nice dog. To meet you, man. <laughs> Tell the world your name before we get I'm in this. Santi, go by Santi Bros. Santi what? Santi Bros. Santi Bros. Rose. Oh, Rose. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> so, if I can tell the world what you do, Doug. Uh, so, what I do, um, so I mean, I'm a photographer and videographer. Yeah. Um, that's what I do for like my main type of thing. I'm, I like work with like influencers. I'll network with them as well. Yeah. Like, uh, like Santi, you know, I like record all his videos. Um, now, he's getting really good at editing. But, um, I I'm teaching him how to, how to like edit and stuff. Yeah. So, um, that's, that's a really cool thing. Oh, yeah, bro. So, how, how long have you been doing it? Like, what you've been doing, like the grind, how long you've been on it? Um, so, uh, professionally, probably about like two and a half years. Um, yeah. I got introduced like to photography about six years. So, like, <clears throat> professionally, been doing it like two and a half, but mainly about like probably six years now. Um, I started like my sophomore year of high school. Um, I just took like a photography class just like as like an extra like credit thing. Yeah. And then just like fell in love with it. Um, became like the best photographer in the school like in the class in the school and um became like the school photographer there was actually actually one kid in, in the photography class that was like better than me but like he wasn't like, as popular as me so like nobody really <laughs> thought he was good but he was actually really good I, i've learned like a lot of stuff on photoshop from him so that was his name was jeremiah so shout out to you jeremiah <laughs> but um uh, yeah, yeah. that's pretty fun and then you know after after high school um um I didn't like really go to school for like right away took like a year off um, just stayed home just chilled worked a little bit and then um, I got introduced like to this uh, school in um, New York City it's called uh, the New York Film of Art School mm. um, so then you know I got introduced to it I saved up for, for school went out there uh, it was like a college for like nine months so I lived in Soho for a little bit and then from New York I just moved to LA right after college and then um, and then uh, I I went to Zoo Culture, yeah. And then um, from there I just like made crazy connections, and then went back home, uh, packed up all my stuff in my car, and then drove out to LA and moved. <laughs> yeah. So you moved to LA. Mm -hmm. So are you are you uh, like based out there right now? Um. So I'm actually here <coughs> in Mexico. Um. I was on a year contract with uh, Bradley Martin. That's um, lit. And Raw Gear. So okay. yeah, I got to work for Bradley Martin and uh, work for his brand, uh, work for like the influencers, um, you know, take always taking photos of them, videos. Yeah. So like a lot of videos that you see like on the Raw Gear page, it's like from me. So it's pretty cool. That's fire, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did you, uh, I guess, get into contact with him? Um, it was actually through a guy named uh, Diego Noboa. He uh, was like the guy that made like the sound, the trending sound. Yeah. It must be nice. I'm trying <laughs> to get like you, my boy. So actually, we had we. So I have the AirPod Pro Maxes, the headphones. Yeah. I have the pink ones, and then he had the blue ones. I already knew who he was, and um, he actually came up to me and he's like, "Oh hell yeah, bro! I like your headphones." Like, you know, I was like, "Oh dude, like you're gonna like you came up to me." I didn't want to fanboy or nothing, but I kind of fanboyed. <laughs> and then um, now he was just like, "Yo, bro, you like your mind like recording something for me?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." and then um recorded something from him and then i was actually friends with the guy that he was friends with so that brought us even closer we went to like a basketball tournament or whatever i told him i was like have you ever start thought, thought about like starting a youtube channel or whatever he's like bro I, it's actually what i want to do tomorrow he's like i'm actually filming it one tomorrow i was like oh okay well if you need anything you know a cameraman or anything just let me know he's like well now i got one but uh until then i'll let you know so like, okay cool and then the next day comes he films his youtube video and then he actually hits me up to edit it so oh, i was shit. like okay you know, like i'm down like I'll, I'll edit it for you and then um i didn't i didn't get to make it that day to edit his video so he actually had someone else edit it and then i was like oh man i just lost it like there's no way like he's gonna yeah, get me to edit this no more and then i guess he didn't like the way it turned out oh okay so and then he he texted me and he's like yo bro like let me give you a chance like let, let's film a youtube video and then Drew just filmed like what? <laughs> I wrote on it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we just like filmed like a YouTube video that next day, and then um, 
edited it that night knocked it out and he just like loved it and then yeah. next thing you know like i'm going everywhere with this guy he gets me like deals with like raw gear blesses me with connections like i had dinner with michael jackson's uh producer with him so it's just it. like i met like so many cool people that's lit. um mayweather just from like this one guy and then you know like next thing you know he's taking me to hawaii like to film his youtube videos and take his photos for him that's fire so, yeah it was just all based off of pretty much just um one really good connection yeah brought me other connections and yeah. then now i just like meet everybody like uh like my boy bryce hall like he's actually in town tomorrow here uh, yeah he's, he's gonna be in new mexico tomorrow he's doing a bare knuckle fight this friday so i'm gonna link up with him tomorrow I'll take some photos of him like sparring and stuff that's fine yeah and then i'm actually when he's fighting i'm gonna be like on the ring what like like photographing yeah, that's we'll lit bro where is that even low uh, where's that gonna be Kingly coliseum oh shit yeah i didn't know that bro what the fuck? yeah i got bryce hall too that's fire. fire what the fuck that's fucking fire <laughs> yeah uh, yeah so uh whenever you started like i guess meeting all the influencers i guess uh how was that like like meeting them um not gonna lie like some are like it's like a hit or miss if they're like nice or like rude yeah like, uh, i'll be honest like bradley martin for instance bro total dick bro <laughs> he's a dick man he looks like, like a dick kind of no, i'm not even gonna lie bro like when i even signed like the contract bro he went three months without paying me damn yeah, so like bro and i'm like like yeah like this is not gonna work so <laughs> Um, I was fucked up. But yeah, no, I mean, uh, some of them could be rude, some of them could be nice. Um, just like a hit or miss. Uh, most of them, if they're really, really big, they <laughs> don't want to connect with like smaller creators. Yeah. Like um, I've like tried to be there, like in that situation, like um, asking QCP. I actually asked him, uh, the, the pasta guy. Yeah. The pasta bitch, like that guy. <laughs> um, I asked him to make a TikTok with me, and he didn't want to do want to. Yes. Yeah. He. He's a little too, I guess, high end. But like some people are like that, and then some people are just like, "Oh, bro, I don't care." Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I don't. Well, I guess like the only famous person I've really like came into like face to face with was I don't know if you know who he is, but he's a rapper called uh, Peso Peso. Mm, yeah, he's from like Texas. Um, yeah, but I was like the only rapper I ever like really met. Oh, and G Herbo, I like G Herbo. I don't know if you know who G Herbo is. You know, uh, but you never like met like like a fam Have you ever met like famous influencer? Uh, I guess both of you. <laughs> nah, that's him. That's not him. <laughs> the child predator catcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking savage. Man, about that stuff is like um, it's crazy when like when Santi like approached me with it. He's like, bro, like I want to like catch predators and i was just like i thought to myself i was like okay one that's dangerous especially here like you're crazy but it's just like dude like I, <coughs> he just he fears nothing man and he's just like if he sees something he's gonna do it so it's just like yeah and like even to him like he's younger than me bro but like i look up to him so it's just like it's crazy and then it's just like we're both famous santi so it's just like if we stick together bro we're we're going to the moon together you know <laughs> that's fire bro yeah it's definitely awesome that's dope so uh I don't know if I asked this, but how did you guys come into contact? Um, I think it was like through like a girl I was talking to, uh. and like they were friends, like cause like they, they went to the same school, and then um, yeah, it was just like a girl that like introduced. Oh yeah, cause I, I started actually making like YouTube videos, uh. and then um, this girl was like, oh I know a guy that like is like famous on TikTok. I was like, really? Let me see. And then she showed me his page, and it was like he was like doing salt shaker pranks and i was like oh bro, that's kind of funny <laughs> and then um yeah, I seen that shit. and then he actually texted me first and he was like bro like i like what you're doing man like keep it up i was like heck yeah bro and then i had like a like a skit like youtube idea that i wanted to do like at the gym uh -huh. and then i actually hit him up and then i was like yo bro you want to do my youtube video like this could kind of be funny he's like yeah yeah let's do it and i get that was like his first time like in front of like a real camera yeah he was like totally nervous bro but like it was just like so funny i was like bro it's it's okay just like be yourself bro just just do it and then he did it man and then like, it was awesome yeah and yeah we made history that day oh yeah, yeah have you uh have you done a child predator catch with him yeah many many um we uh <clears throat> we've done like 
I don't know how many, but yeah, man, those are they're, they're fun and, and, and scary. <laughs> like uh, our most viral one, um, it would have went stupid on YouTube if we if we got to post it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we uh, we posted on Rumble recently because it was like one of our newer catches. Yeah. And like this guy was there to meet like a twelve year old girl. Damn. Yeah, man, and he what was like fifty six, and it was just like. It's, it's so crazy so like we went to we, we met him at walmart and uh. this is when santi dressed up as a girl and it was like <laughs> it was so funny and like um when we approached him like you know we just we just want to talk with them first to see what the like what, what's in their mind like what what like connection or like what like chemicals not working right in their brain yeah and um they just didn't want to talk so when people are like that like me and santi are not afraid to make a scene so you know we start making a scene yeah and then he just like walks out and like He's going crazy he's like threatening us and then i don't know where he happened to park right next to us all the way in the back at a walmart like in this so big parking lot like what are the chances of that <laughs> the fuck? yeah and then next thing you know like oh a good catch good catch this catch is going viral now it's it's popping off on tiktok you uh i mean uh rumble and then like like before we even actually yeah it was before we even posted it he was calling us threatening us and uh, of course, you know we, we're not we're safe. We're not dumb. We, we we don't use our real numbers. Yeah. He's like calling in us, and so we're getting this phone call off, off this app, and um, like threatening us, saying hey, he's in some gang. And it was just like that was really really scary. <laughs> so like um, we didn't know where to believe him or not, and we just said screw it, bro. Like what do you have to lose? So we just posted it, and then next thing you know, it, it pays off. So that's, yeah. that's a good thing that we posted it. God damn, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the first how i saw you first the first time i saw you was you guys were running on the top golf oh, yeah. I, I was laughing i was like what the fuck you guys are crazy i was like yeah, dude, nah. <laughs> you do some crazy stuff you know it, it is cool because i mean like in reality like they're gonna end up forgetting it anyway so it's just like why not do it yeah it's definitely it's fun <laughs> that show is funny making memories making history like now me and Santi, we're just like funny like even when, when we don't have the cameras on, we do some funny stuff. Like, yeah. I've I been going up to grandma's and asking him, like, oh, like, can you take a picture with me for, like, National Girlfriend's Day or something? Like, I don't know. I do, like, <laughs> I do some weird, funny stuff. He said to a grandma. <laughs> yeah. And then there you go, Santi, just take the photo. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, bro. That's dope. Yeah, man. So how are you enjoying it? Um, Life lately? Yeah. I've been enjoying life very well, you know. Um. Pretty much just like seven days a week, I'm like constantly working, always having like a, a camera in my hand. Yeah. Um, actually uh, work at the studio. Um, I have my studio um, and uh, it's pretty nice, man. I'm just like always like photographing anybody that really books with me. I mean, it's always like families, kids, seniors. Lately, my favorite, just been doing like a lot of boudoir, which is like, like females, like in lingerie, so it's fun. Um, <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, man. So it's just dope. Like, girls just hit me up. They're like, I want to get naked in front of your camera. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, what more do I want? I mean, that would be dope. You know? So it's just like, yeah, so I'm just like, okay. And then they come to my studio, you know, they, they strip Where's down. your studio at? Um, on Eubank. On Eubank? Yeah. What's it called? KJ. KJ? KJ? Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of it? I don't think so, no. Kim Ju. Maybe. Have you ever heard of Kim Ju? Yeah. Uh-uh. Um, he's actually it's so funny. Um, I hardly see him, but I mean... He's like the owner of like the the, the studio, uh, but Kim Ju, he's just like a legend photographer in New Mexico. Um, he's like 73 right now, but um, he's a good guy. He's actually taught me a lot, and his son Justin as well taught me a lot as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's just like photographed every single president in the United States. Bam. Um, he's photographed a lot of the like, KJ famous, guy. Yeah. Oh Yeah, shit. him himself. Yeah, he photographed all these celebrities. Um, yeah, he's photographed so many celebrities, like the whole like Modern Family cast, the Breaking Bad cast. Um, it's so it's cool when he like photographed all these celebrities, but it really blew my mind when he photographed Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad like, Ali, yeah. Man? So I was like, no freaking what the way. Fuck? Yeah, man. Like, like I say, like me compared to him, I'm just like a basic photographer because him. <laughs> There's no way. Bro, that's a straight I legend, dog. Yeah, I can, there's no way I could ever get to his level. Even though, like, he's like teaches me, and like I'm learning all his like techniques and stuff. It's just like he's he's still up there, you know. He's always gonna be a top dog. And um, yeah, man, his studio in general, yeah, was ranked number one in the nation 
but now I guess we just lost to a, a studio in Dallas, so now we're number two in the wow. nation. But yeah, I that's mean, crazy. Everybody there, we're all good. We're all really good photographers, so it's, it's fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like the only one there that is like a videographer, so it's like different. So it's oh, really okay. cool. I could li literally like film a rapper like a, a music video in one night and finish it that night as well. It's just it's gotta be like I don't know. I, I like. I like to separate myself from other photographers by like, oh, I photographed you today. All right, well, I'll give you your stuff tomorrow. Yeah. That's what like really separates me from other photographers and makes me uh, like that better of a photographer. Yeah. Because all these other photographers are like, okay, I'll have your pictures in five to six weeks, whatever. And they say pictures. I don't take pictures. I take portraits. So it's just oh, okay. it's a little different. Yeah. That's fire, bro. And that's also like a little bit of my story. That's like, this is my camera. New York went to school for film and photography, and then LA. Oh, okay. Where I lived. That's pretty so dope. It's a good story. I fuck with and that. This is, this says create. I actually got this with with Santi. When he was For real? Like, yeah. <laughs> so it's just like I create. Yeah. <laughs> that's fire, bro. I like that. What's that one right there? This what is an got? astronaut. It's just like, you know, every little. I don't know about you, but like mine, especially. And I know like a lot of other kids' dream, dreams is like to be an astronaut. Yeah. But like. Like the, the percent is literally zero. For real. So it's just like it should remind me to always follow your dreams and like always do what you say you're gonna do. That's fire. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. So how was it growing up for you? Like, were you uh, really popular? Or were you shy? Um, I would say I was actually very like talkative, like social. Mm -hmm. So I gave my YouTube is like social Santi because I just like I'm like a social butterfly. Yeah. So it's just like um, I grew up in Las Lunas, then uh, actually went to school. And it was like a big argument between my parents. My mom wanted me to go to Las Vegas for like education because it's actually a really good school. Yeah. Just in the newer school, it's very big, and the education is just very good there. But my dad wanted me to go to Belen for the wrestling team, so oh, okay. I just ended up choosing Belen to to go ahead and wrestle. So that's what pretty much what I did. Like like growing up is just uh, just main thing was just always wrestling, 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 wrestling. That always came first. And my yeah. dad was always like even like middle school, like in high school sending me to like these camps like in Ohio, um, Orlando, uh, Nebraska, Iowa. Like I'm just always going everywhere. And most of my traveling comes from wrestling. Damn. And um, it's just like, I'm like, dude, like why is my dad doing this to me? Like, you know, and it's just <laughs> like, it's like, it's like literally like child abuse. I'm like, bro, I'm going to all these like wrestling camps. Like all my friends are partying over the summer. Like <laughs> oh, what the heck? I want to go party with my friends. Yeah. And it's just like, I guess like him just doing that actually made me who I am today. Like give me like the discipline. I mean like, I don't even go to parties to be honest. I, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm 21, never even drink alcohol. So it's just never have, I never drink alcohol. Don't even know what alcohol tastes like. Damn. Yeah. So it's you just, smell it though. <laughs> yeah, I smell it. But this guy, no. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, man. So it's just like always having like that discipline, that extra, you know. Yeah. I, I like to think of like the three Ds: the dedication, determination, domination. So that's a good way. Or did you learn that? Um, Wrestling. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's funny. Yeah. Again had you out there like the karate kid yeah man <laughs> hey, what the heck man it's child abuse i mean wrestling before i could even crawl what the heck yeah <laughs> no it was fun man i learned a lot you know yeah. um i i looked at wrestling more of a job than than sport yeah. it was just really so hard you know especially like um my senior year man i was just like i'll go up to like I, w I was like weighing like 145 150 but then that sunday like i had to cut to like 126 so it's just like always just like losing weight <laughs> So in the edge of sound, um, uh, I was like breaking like that, that that breaking point where it's just like, like you know that like that that mentality. It's like even like now like in a sauna, like if I just sit in a sauna, like the it says like the max you should, you should stand here is like ten minutes, but then I'm just like in there for thirty minutes, like breaking that point, you know. <laughs> and like once you break that point, it's just like you're it's like David Goggins, bro. Like who's gonna carry the boats, you know, and the logs? It's just like always gotta make that extra mile, always gotta yeah. take that extra step. That's good though that you fucking are on your journey, bro, and that you've learned a lot too from wherever you've been through in life, wrestling, or with your parents, you know what I mean, and photography. I could tell that you really like, you know, you take it really serious. And yeah, definitely. It's pretty dope. I'm glad to see you with Santi too, bro. That's dope. Boy, I would have never. I would have never hit you up if I never seen you guys on Top Golf. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that video. I was like, what the fuck? So like, these guys are crazy. Yeah, you know, I want to know actually a funny story. 
So like, um, I'm not, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot, you know. <laughs> but um, I just seen like this one beautiful girl that worked at Top Golf. Yeah. And um, she dared you. No, 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 no. She actually uh, like got us into Top Golf. So like, what one thing uh, I should say is actually me and Santi are already banned from Top Golf. Uh, <laughs> we actually snuck in. Um, and in the nighttime when it was closed, yeah. and we just snuck in. We have it on video. We recorded. We posted it on YouTube. That was actually his first YouTube video. It's like sneaking in top golf, and uh, yeah. uh, we snuck in. We climbed the fence. We jumped in like the little things where the balls go in. And then we uh, got the, the golf clubs and we got salt shakers and we just hit them. You know, and the next thing you know, like video went pretty viral. Like uh, top golf people saw it, and then this girl actually told me she's like, "Oh, I, I seen your face in the office, and it says like who to not let in." Yeah. And pretty much like I'm banned, whatever. So I'm like, oh no way! So she sends me a, a picture of it. I was like, no way! They actually have a picture of me with her. And then, um, so <laughs> these YouTubers from the East Coast come. They're they're making a road trip to LA, uh. and um, we made me and Sandy made really good connections with them. So we're like, oh, you know, yeah, stop in New Mexico. You know, we'll we'll make some videos and stuff. So they came to New Mexico, <clears throat> and uh, you know, just staying with me and Santi and. Uh, um, they were like, well, what is there to do out here? I was like, oh, what is there to do? I mean, we go to the mall, make, we could catch a predator. Um, <laughs> oh, we could go to Top Golf and, like, I don't know, we could do something. And, like, the, oh, like, we should, like, run on the field or whatever. I'm like, well, yeah, that's kind of dangerous, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then, so I told that girl, I was like, yo, is there any way that you can, like, get me in, like, the Top Golf? And uh, she was like, yeah, I'll just use, like, a, another number or whatever. <sighs> I, won't, I won't say her name so she doesn't get fired, but. Um, <laughs> So we go to Top Golf, whatever. She's like, "Don't do anything stupid." She thought we were just gonna play. I was like, "Well, we are gonna kind of gonna do something stupid." She's like, "Oh my gosh, whatever." We walk into Top Golf with cameras, you know, like <laughs> like three cameras. Everybody's recording, and then they kick us out right then and there. They're like, "No filming, whatever." And then so uh, they, we put the cameras away. I snuck mine in in my backpack, and then um, we played Top Golf. We had fun or whatever. And then towards the end, right when it's about to end, uh, we went to uh, back into the car got the cameras went to, uh, back in yeah. and right then and there when they saw us walking in with the cameras they were already like chasing us like oh no like you guys are not blah blah, blah and like you guys can't do this and yeah. then they're like I remember I, I just remember one manager's like his last words were like you guys really want to be banned from Top Golf forever that's what he said <laughs> and then uh, next thing you know like we all just looked at each other and we just ran <laughs> and we just ran a ball hit Santi it was crazy damn yeah, bro man. And then we went we ran all the way to the end, man. And like I thought I was in good shape, but like man, I was tired after, man. <laughs> and, then, and then um that girl like that got us in yeah. ends up blocking me because of doing that. <laughs> and then I was like, alright, whatever. And then two days later she unblocks me and calls me and says like she's in love with me. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just like weird. It's like that's what I'm saying, bro. Your girls are weird, man. First off, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's funny, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. My boy got hit by a ball. <laughs> yeah, man. He, like, he even says it in his video. He's like, ah, ball just hit me. <laughs> and we, yeah, That's we so took a ball funny. as a souvenir as well. Like, this, this is the day we ran out of golf, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you someone was aiming for you guys, too. And was like, I hit him. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. They were, they were definitely, like, the managers were like, they didn't care. They're like, keep swinging. We don't care. <laughs> and, like, I remember, like, a guy at the top, he was just recording me. And I just flexed at him. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, like yeah, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> hell yeah, bro. I really appreciate you guys coming out, bro. Um, Definitely, man. I appreciate you for having us. Hell yeah, this is dope, bro. And is there anything positive you want to say before we wrap it up? Um, I'm not gonna cap, bro. Fat bitches need to shut up. Like, nah, for <laughs> real. It'd be a lot of the fat hoes that be talking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, nah, I was like, damn. <laughs> nah, I was like, this is how we're ending this nah. shit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a viral TikTok sound, actually. <laughs> but uh, positive, I would say um, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So just do what you love. Yes, that's sir. Like, like with Santi, bro. He hasn't had a job since he was 18. He got, I don't know, I don't know if you want me to say it, but did he, like, he showed me his like, analytics on Instagram, bro. This guy got paid out $2,000 just from his Instagram reels. I was like, what the heck? But every Instagram reel goes viral. So I was like, Bro, like, Sheesh. yeah, man. So it's just like, if you literally do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Exactly. Yeah, man. Like, I feel like I don't even work. And <laughs> I work seven days a week. So it's just like, yeah, it's crazy, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Fun. That's dope, bro. Um, what do you call it? Do you want to shout out your handle and then spell it out so people can find you? Yeah, my Instagram is Santi Rose, S E N T E A R O S E. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, and then I'm on my uh, main page. In my bio is my photography page. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I appreciate you, bro, for coming out. Appreciate you, my boy. We'll have to get you in the future again, bro. And fucking everyone stay safe, stay blessed.